Hey guys, in this video we'll learn another few objectives for the MO200 exam and namely we'll tackle this entire chapter concerning customizing options and views. Before we start, I encourage you to subscribe so that you don't miss out on any new training content and now let's begin. Let's customize the quick access toolbar. For those who don't know, the quick access toolbar is this area up here and it lets you add useful Excel commands that you will see uh, like all the time. So for example, to create a new, to create easily a new file, we can add such command to the quick access toolbar by checking it. Perfect. Now to get rid of that, we can simply uncheck that. And in the exam, when you're asked to add more specific command, you have to go to the more commands. And here are more commands. Notice that these are only popular commands and you have also the option to select all commands. So for example, we can now add this add chart command by clicking here, add. To change the position, we can use these arrows. So let's save that. And now notice that on the first position, I have my add chart command. Let's go back. And to delete that command, we simply click remove. And there are also more customization options like reset the quick access toolbar and so on. So let's reset all customizations. Yes, perfect. Now, these two objectives, change and display workbook views. So we go to the view tab and here are all the available views. So we have the normal view the page break preview where you can see on what pages your content will be printed and also you can set here the page breaks you have the page layout view which is especially useful for customizing headers and footers and especially this objective modify workbook content in different views this is an example so you might be asked to switch to a page layout view and here modify the footer or header for example and you can also create your custom views here so let's go back to the normal view and the next objective is to freeze worksheet rows and columns to do that choose your position this means that the row above and to the left will be freezed after we apply this feature, let's say. So we go to the view tab and here are the options to freeze panes. Either we can freeze top row on first column or this option freeze panes, which is what I have just described. And this is useful, especially for large tables. So wherever you move your worksheet, you always have the headers and first column available. Okay, let's unfreeze that. So unfreeze panes. Next up, modify basic workbook properties. For that, we need to go to the file tab info and here are all the available properties a common exam task might be to add a tag so we might write here i don't know work workbook enter and now we have added this tag to customize more properties click here advanced properties and you have even more options to add like keywords categories and so on and the last objective is to display formulas 
So let's insert here something simple, like, I don't know, a few numbers, 5, 4, 6, and let's add those numbers together. So we'll use the sum function for that. Perfect. And now here we can see the value, but we want to see the formula. So we go to the formulas tab and click show formulas. Perfect. So yeah, guys, that is everything for today. I hope you find it useful and easy. If so, smash that like button and we'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.